You'll see it. There's a new billboard up. One religious leaders say spreads a message of hate. Only on 41 Action News, Lexi Souter found out who's behind that billboard and what they hope it does. Well, Krista, I'll tell you, it's drawing a lot of eyes and some mixed emotions, but the group that paid for it says they want to get your attention. Americans have the right to know, and I think Americans should be outraged. Hillary Samets is part of the nonprofit Citizens of Justice in the Middle East, a pro Palestinian activist group that funded the billboard. She says it's their way of spreading awareness, not only for their name, but for taxpayers. I think a lot of Americans don't realize that their tax money, $8 million a day of their tax money to the tune of $3.1 billion a year, is being sent directly to Israel. According to this government report, in 2007, the Bush administration and Israeli government agreed to a 10-year, $30 billion military aid package. A big portion of that money goes towards several defense systems for the Israeli people, including the Iron Dome. Israel would love to li live in peace. Rabbi Jeffrey Schroen was shocked to read these words. He worries they'll only worsen America's perception of Israel and feed a bias he says is already present. Unfortunately, the average person is often uh, uh, swayed to a certain viewpoint uh, because they really don't know the facts. And I think it's just provoking uh, unnecessary hatred towards a particular group. Uh, who are just trying to live in peace. Samet says the billboard is not intended to be malicious, but to question a government policy she disagrees with. I think ultimately what CJME wanted to do is create dialogue, and I don't think people realize that their money is going to this when it could be spent in so many ways here. Now, this billboard will stay up here off I-70 through early March. Reporting live in Kansas City, Lexi Suter, 41 Action News.